Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiffy and lately I've been seeing these really cute tassel garlands that can get kind of pricey and I decided to go ahead and make one myself and show you guys how I did that. So this is a really, really easy DIY. All it takes is some tissue paper. I'm using a bunch of pastel colors. You can really do any color variation you want. I'll put a link in the description where I got my tissue paper from. To cut the tissue paper, you can use scissors, but I found it easier to use an X-Acto knife on a cutting board with a ruler. You just get more precise lines and it is much faster than scissors. To hang the tassels, I'm going to use jute. You can use any type of string here. I'm also gonna be using these wooden skewers. You can use a pencil if you like, but this is just gonna help us roll the tissue paper easier. And I'm also gonna be using some tape. You can use decorative tape here, but this was the only tape that I had. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold my tissue paper in half. So mine measures to about 15 inches long. Yours may vary depending on the size of your tissue paper, but you can go ahead. This is gonna determine the length of your tassel. So mine is gonna be around 15 inches long. I find that anywhere from 10 to 15 inches looks good. Now I'm gonna fold the tissue paper again over itself so that I don't have to make so many slits in my tassels. So we can do multiple slits and cut multiple planes of the tissue paper. Making sure that your folded portion of the tissue paper is at the top and that you're not cutting this part. I went ahead and left about an inch and a half to two inches at the top because we're not gonna cut this portion. So now I'm gonna grab my roller and my X-Acto knife and my cutting board and I'm going to cut about quarter of an inch thick little strips. You can cut them as wide or as narrow as you like here, but I found that I like this size best. So continue cutting all along the rest of the tissue paper. And once you're completely done cutting, we're just gonna go ahead and unfold it. Make sure to cut where the fold was, so you're gonna have to do an extra slit uh, where the paper was actually folded. So now I'm going to cut this tissue paper into three different sections so that we can get multiple tassels out of this one tissue paper. So we're gonna do about three of them and I'm gonna cut this around six to seven inches long. Doesn't really matter if it's the exact same length, you can actually eyeball this because you won't be able to tell the difference once it is all tasseled up. So now that I have those three different sections, I'm gonna set aside these other two portions and I'm gonna work with one tassel. So now you should have this six inch piece of tissue paper opened up. In the center, there should be no slits at all. And on the edges, you should have it nice and frilly, so it should be all cut up like it's like shredded. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab our wooden skewer and it's really helpful to have the longer ones because it's easier to pull out. And what we're gonna do is grab one edge of the tissue paper and place your skewer down right on the edge and begin rolling the tissue paper around the skewer. Don't wrap it around too tight because you won't be able to pull it out. And since this is tissue paper, you wanna work very, very gently because it's super delicate and it's really easy to tear. So go ahead and wrap the tissue paper all the way around the skewer, all the way till you've wrapped up your whole piece of tissue. And once you have that done, then you can go ahead and pull out the skewer from one side and you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm just gonna kind of straighten the little tassels and make it look a little prettier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to go ahead and twist the tissue paper directly in the center where there is no slits. So you're just gonna twist it. It should be about three inches long of twisty uh, tissue paper. And once you've done that, I'm gonna just go ahead and set that aside and repeat that process for as many tassels as you want in as many colors of tissue paper as you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my jute and string and you can go ahead and cut this to whatever length you want. I am cutting mine to about 12 feet. So now that you have your jute cut, I'm gonna lay this directly in the center of all of the tassels. So I have them all lined up 
And what we're gonna do is just start off with one tassel and you can flip it to one side or you can work directly above. I found it's easier to work kind of flipping the two, grabbing each two sides of the tassel and bringing them together in the center. And you're going to wrap them around each other. So once you've wrapped them around each other to where the slits begin, then you're gonna go ahead and grab a small piece of tape and you're just gonna tape this around the top portion of the tassel so that it doesn't become unwound. And once you've added all of your tassels onto your piece of string, that is about it. This was super easy and I actually did this project with my mom. She helped me with the tassels, cutting and wrapping them around. So thanks for the help, mom. This was super fun uh, and it is really, really cute. I think this brightens up any room. You can either hang it on the wall horizontally or you can just hang it vertically. It still looks super adorable. You can use whatever colors you want. This is great for parties, baby showers, bridal showers, really great decor or just brightening up your room or office space. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to send me all of your creations. I would love to see how you guys create this tassel garland. Uh, tweet me with the pictures, hashtag createCQ, and I will love to see all of your creations. I always really love to see what you guys do and how creative you can get. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am Tiffy and I will see you all later. Bye.